Bye, have a great time. Welcome everyone to Ultra Salty Dan's basic tuning guide to getting your cars into the right BHP and PP requirements. Now, it's quite simple, but if you have no idea what you're doing, then it can be a pain in the rectum. So, as you'll see now, we're going to go out, we're going to buy ourselves the GT3 Ferrari 458 Italia. And when we go straight into the game, then it won't let us use it for our GT3 race because the PP is too high as you can see up in the top left it says 747.12 and the requirements to get into it are 730 for pp now you can do this for your brake horsepower as well exactly the same way so as you can see as many times as i click it it just will not let me have it so we head over to the tuning shop and we literally buy two things uh the one really is not as much needed but it can be for when they gotta do weight restrictions but first thing you buy is the power restrictor it's 800 bucks buy some ballast as well which can add up to 200 kilograms of weight on your car and for some reason i decided to buy the sports hard tires <laughs> because i thought yep that's what we need as well but no it's the racing hards which we already had so now we'll go straight back to our track we want to go to which is at suzuka uh it's a great little track as well on you uh it's done really well um so as you can see we need racing hards medium softs and all that so when we go into it now and i'm looking thinking why the hell did i just buy sports as you can see so we'll drop it down now to sports hard uh which is probably the lowest of pp you can do if you do uh softs and medium as well it ups your pp uh, so yeah, that's one thing to do. But the first thing I do now is I add new sheet and I name this the default. This gives you your basic car settings, your default settings before you do any tuning whatsoever. Um, I then duplicate this. So I've always got a backup because obviously this one I want to do a little tuning to. So as I said, I name it to test. So it's nice and easy. So if anything goes wrong, I can go back to my default. Now the first thing you go straight over to is to your ECU and as you can see it's gone from 47 down to 41 just by dropping that. You can see my BHP is dropping down as well. Uh, so we're down to the what, 93 now and 96. So uh, as you can see it's dropped, well, 17 really so far. And that is it, basically that is it of how to just drop your car into your right PP level or your brake goes power. Now, always do ECU a bit lower than your actual power restrictor. And on you now, I'm just dropping the body height adjustment and raising the back or dropping the back, whichever way I do it, uh, just to get my PP as close to 730 as possible. Uh, you don't need to, but for me, I just wanted to get it as close to 730 as I possibly can. You know, dropping the downforce on the back lifting it up a little bit doing the weight at the front as well and that will do if you can see it now it's up to 729.96 so i'm just under literally and i dropped the weight by what one or two i raised the back by one or two and i think i've done a downforce as well rename this one now to 730 pp because we know that's the one we gotta load up and away we go everything now we get woohoo c730 yay we can go into our car so we jump into the race just to show you that the tuning is working uh i will be putting a video up on my ai thoughts through this race uh so stay tuned for the video for that but uh we'll just fast forward it all the way through just so you can see that what i've tuned is actually raceable in the event you know so just because the power restrictor has gone down and you're not getting full power doesn't mean that you cannot be racing in the events doesn't mean you're not up to par with everyone else but well, i was so hopefully you are too so yeah that is your little quick guide to what needs to be added or bought for your tuning to make pp levels and bhp levels i've been ultra salty dan thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video all right
Take care now. Bye-bye then.